Welcome to a new DIY engineers video. In this video, I'll go over perspective transformations with OpenCV so you can go from this to this. I'll be using a Raspberry Pi, but this applies to OpenCV and Python in general. Now, perspective transformations in computer vision is a technique that alters the perspective of an image or a scene as viewed from a different viewpoint. So basically you map the points from one place to another, typically changing the view of a flat object, like a rectangular image, to give it an appearance of being seen from a different angle. This transformation helps with tasks where you need to align or warp images to a different perspective. Some applications for this, for example, involve scanning documents, scanning a check from your phone, and there's also image stitching, which is aligning and combining multiple images to create panoramic pictures. Now, in essence, the process for this is, so first we'll identify four points in an image, which will encompass the image to be mapped, and then map them to another set of four points on the plane we want to map them to. In the simple scenario of document scanning, you take the four coordinates of the image you want from whichever angle you get in the picture. Typically, you try to get it as perpendicular as possible, but if it's not perfect, you still take the picture, identify the four corners, and then the software will map them to the four corners, outer corners of the document, the PDF, and then boom, you get it all mapped out perfectly. After assigning the four points from the image taken and the four points where you want them to land, you have to get the homography matrix. This is called also in OpenCV, the perspective transform. Basically, it's a matrix that will be used to mathematically map the four points from the original to the new plane. The math is not straightforward, but OpenCV makes it super easy for us. So let's jump into the examples. So first, I'm going to start with the base code from a previous example we ran. So I'm going to go to V1R3. I'll save that as V5R1. We'll go from there. So we import CV2, Pi camera, time. And I guess before I go deeper, the process we're going to follow is take pictures, save the pictures, we'll look through the pictures, and then we'll write another code to complete the mapping. So this is the one for taking the picture. So CV2, import camera, time. We have everything else, etc. All I have to do is here, after the waiting, I'm going to do CV2, I am right, over parentheses. We're going to be running this already within the tutorial folder, so we're just going to reference the previous folder we made before, imgs slash test underscore one dot jpeg and then img, right? We're going to be referencing the image variable here. So with that, you can go ahead, take a picture. Here's the Raspberry Pi camera and the setup we have seen before. Here's a picture I'm going to take of this sheet of paper saying DIY engineers and We'll go ahead and capture that. So that's the picture. Now we can see we have one corner at 221.32. We have another one at 503.24. We have another one at 97.196. And we have another one at 580.213. Okay. So now let's press a key. This will close. Now we have here test. And now I'll go ahead and change this to two. And I'll remove the sheet of paper to take a picture of the grid line. So now let's go ahead and run that. Okay. So that's the picture. So maybe I want to map out some of this set of corners and make it into an image. So let's just do that. Let's start with this one. So this one is 29, 288. When I go down that line to here, this one is 330. 303, we'll go up here, 353, 143, this is the right one, so 144 and 140, okay, so we'll use those points in the next step, so then I'll close, and I can check out that image here, so there it is, so we'll be using this one, and this one, for the test, alright, so now let's do the coding for the mapping, so let me save as, we'll have cv2, import, numpy, as NP. We don't need these two. We're not going to be using the camera because we already took the pictures. So then I'll do IMG underscore one equals CV2 dot IM read open parentheses. We know this is in the IMGS folder and I want to open test one. That was the first picture we took. And I want to do the same with the second image. I want to open the two. So we'll open the two images. Then, as I said originally, we need to define the points on the image that correspond to the corners of the image we're trying to map, right, in the original image. So we took note of this in the first picture. So I'm going to go ahead and call this img1 underscore points1 equals numpy float32. 
and then we'll start defining the four corners right it doesn't need to be exactly the corner because i want to avoid getting the outer edge where the gridded material was i want to get 100 percent of the paper so i will go a little bit inwards towards the corner uh, which is a little bit different from the exact numbers i wrote down so i'll go a little bit into the page so i'll do 220 and 35 i'll do 525 100 let's do 190 and 575 and 205 and we can always change these numbers a bit if we don't like the result if we want to tweak it so then i need the points that i'm going to map them to honestly i just want a rectangular image or a square image sorry so we'll go to zero zero right the top corner on the left will be zero zero the one on the right will be 300 and zero the one on the bottom left is x equals zero y equals 300 and remember the y goes positive going down on open cv images with the origin on the top left okay so then we'll just do the same but for the second image so we'll just call this two and two we'll leave the bottom the same but we'll have a new set of points for this i'm going to put exactly the points we captured and see what we get out so 149 140 353 143 29 288 330 303 so then I told you you would have to get the perspective transform, right? The matrix that OpenCV will use to get then the perspective. So we'll do M1 for the transform for the first picture. We'll do CV2.get perspective transform. Open parentheses, specify the first image. Specify the points of the first image. And then specify the points you want to map them to, which is basically this. And then we'll do the same for the second image. So this will be M2, this will be image two, this will be image two, okay? So next we need to get the actual perspective image, right? So to get that, we'll, we'll just call it purse underscore one. I'll do CV2 dot warp perspective, open parentheses. So we'll do IMG underscore one. So we're passing the image, then we'll pass the transform matrix. And then we'll just pass the range that we want to map that to. So I'll just, I want a 300 and 300 image. That's the size of the image. I'll copy and paste that for the second picture. Two, two. And now we just need to print the images. So we'll do I am show. We'll call this one. We'll have output one. Output two. Input one. Input two. And here we'll have IMG underscore one, right? That was input one. And input two was img underscore two, right? Those were the pictures we took that we're referencing from the files. And then the outputs are just gonna be this, right? The pictures with perspective after the transformation. And then we'll just do our typical cv2 dot wait key with a zero, meaning it will wait for us to press a key. Save that and let's run it. Hopefully I got no errors. All right, so here it is. You can see on input one, the picture was from that top down angle, a little bit of a few inches behind. And now we translate into this, which looks as if we took the picture from the top. But you can see, right? Like if I wanted to scan this, I would do a better job of trying to get a better angle from the top. And, but this would ensure that it looks as if we took it from the top. Now let's check the second one. So if I remember correctly, the image started here. So that's this corner that we're looking at here. And then we went this way all the way to 330, somewhere here. That's this corner here. So that's this line. And then we went up to around here, went back down. So, so as you can see, the image went from here to here. I wouldn't say that these lines are perfectly parallel. They might look more parallel in here. But these, this one seems to open up a little bit to the left, not much. But in general, remember, parallel lines in this picture won't necessarily parallel over here. All right, so this concludes the video. I hope you liked it. If you did, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. See you in the next one. Bye.